What up, Reason Gang? I am July from Kickback Couture, and today is Reason Day. I'm gonna show y'all how to turn this into this. Now there are tons of ways to add swing in Reason 12. The first way I would like to go over is the quantize settings. So the quantize settings come in handy when you're recording, you're playing it by hand, you're finger drumming, you got your keys or your MPC pass, whatever you got, you're playing it by hand. So quantize comes in handy when you want to get things closer to the grid. Now the only problem with quantize is that it often locks it right on the grid. But in Reason, you can do this by a percentage instead of all the way right so if we go to we're gonna go to window sorry about that we're gonna show the tool window and this is what we're gonna look at here so we don't need no velocity or legato adjustments right now what we're looking at is quantize so here in quantize you'll see that it's set to 1 16th that is the closest value I would like to set my notes to when I'm playing and then we have amount Right here, the amount is at 100%. That means it's going to suck the life out of everything, every humanistic timing that you put into your recording. So rather than having this at 100%, why don't we change this to 50 or 75, depending on your comfortable comfortability with programming drums and using your hands and stuff like that. So we're going to use 75%, and what I'm going to do is... I'll drag this over here, make a copy. I want to remove my hi-hats completely. So I'm gonna double click over there, delete that. I'm gonna re-record my hi-hats with 75% quantization instead of 100%. And let's see what happens there. Now what we'll see here is that our position is slightly different. So rather than it being on the grid, look up here, this is the position. Rather than it being like this, one, one, three, zero, it's giving us some leeway and it's matching more of our human vibe. Sometimes you don't even have to add quantization if you're just doing hi-hats. So how about we turn it off and do it without the quantization completely we're going to hit f8 to pop that tool window back open and let's turn it off q record off and you could do that down here actually so it's this checkbox or this button here and let's try that again Most of that sounds good, some of it can be helped. So this is where you could come in and move it manually or you can add that quantization back and it's still on, right? We just gotta select the notes we wanna use and it's on 75%, right? So we're gonna listen through and find the sounds that are slightly off, find the hits that are slightly off. So this one right here sounds a little early. I'm gonna hit Command K and it's gonna shift it to the right a little bit, as you can see. So that has a much better feel to it. If you're not comfortable with what you did, you can always quantize it, but instead of putting it right on the grid at 100%, you can go 50, 25, 10, or even 5%. So I'm gonna go with this 25% here, hit Command K and it's going to quantize it. Another way to quantize, if you don't remember the shortcut, is to right click after you selected all the notes and hit quantize right here. Another thing you could do is manually move the notes. So if you select all the snares, for example, and you wanna shift them over, you can just drag this position, the zero right here, 
up. And that's a little too much. You could pull that snare early if you wanted to. So that covers changing the quantize settings and manually dragging things over to get them in the pocket that you want them in. The next thing I would like to talk about is groove. Groove is going to add swing to your entire drum pattern using a preset. Now the groove is located down here. It's called a regroove mixer and you can add groove settings to your drum pattern with this little drop down area here on your track in the sequencer. So I can go to A1 and it will correlate to this slot right here, A1. And you have up to 32 slots. So I'm gonna use A1 in this case. I'm going to load up a preset and these are the presets that Reason comes with. Bass comp, drummer, MPC 60, which so many of us love, percussion, programmed, and vinyl. So if I wanted to go with MPC 60 here, and let's say I select 66% shuffle. Drop that in with this load button here. I'll then close the browser. And let's hear what this does to our track. I'm gonna turn on the metronome so we can keep track of what's happening. So let's play it without it and then I'll add it back. And this is with it. So we can instantly hear that swing in the kick drum. This one right here is playing a bit later, but I'm gonna solo the kick so you can hear the difference here. Pretty clear that it has more swing with the groove preset in there. Now there are also some things you could change in here. You could slide it in ticks to the right or to the left. So I'm gonna turn on the metronome, unmute tracks and let you hear that. I'm also going to mute this percussion momentarily so you can hear it by itself, the drum pattern without the Rex percussion loop. So with the sliding gauge, you can hear that it's moving it a little bit to the left as the downbeats of this pattern are playing before the metronome hits. And the metronome is that doop, doop, doop sound that is playing as the beat is. We also have shuffle. And what this will do is move our off beats closer to our down beats. Under the shuffle button, we have something called pre-align. What pre-align does is it quantizes all of the notes that you have in your pattern before it applies the shuffle. The global shuffle button down here is good for devices that are pattern based. For example, the red drum. So on this device, there is a button that says shuffle, the matrix, and the shuffle button is in this position here. Now I wanna show you how to take the groove from a pre-existing song, loop, clip, anything like that. So I have a free drum break kit on my website that y'all can access in order to use this in your productions. I'm gonna go ahead and find one that I like, a drum break, and I'm gonna show you how to steal the groove from it and apply it to your drum pattern. All right, I'm gonna take this Al Green, I'm glad you're mine. Now I'm gonna double click it and I'm gonna time stretch it so that it fits the tempo of my production. There is a little space in the beginning I wanna cut out. 
get rid of that. Time stretch it. Now sometimes people play these things over or under the beat they already have. So that's why you would time stretch it. If you wanted to keep that in the background somehow and put some cool effects on it, you could do that. But what we're gonna do here is double click and make sure that it's in slice mode. Now you're going to right click, bounce, bounce clip to Rex loop, drag it into the rack, right click on the Dr. Octo Rex player, copy the loop to the track, go back to the sequencer, F7, right click on that clip with the MIDI, right click, get groove from clip. Now you'll see that it has populated a1. I'm going to mute both of these and play our new drum pattern. Now it has some things I don't like, so what I could do is go ahead and put it on pre-align and let's hear that again. So I don't like how it moved this one. So maybe I move this a little bit to the left or the right, depending on how late it is. It's late. So I'm gonna drag it to this, to the left. So that was the Al Green I'm Glad You're Mine drum break groove that we sampled. But I'm going to stick with my 66% shuffle MPC preset. In the tool window, there are groove settings as well. So here we have the groove channel. You can select the groove patch from here. You can change the impact, the timing impact. So the percentage is kind of like a dry wet slider here. Also got velocity impact. Does it affect the volume or the strength of each hit, each hi-hat, each kick, whatever the case? Does it affect the note, the lengths of the hits? Or does it have some random timing that isn't necessarily right on with our preset? So remember to check these settings out when you're thinking about adding swing to your drum patterns. The last thing I wanted to talk about was moving things manually. But there's also another tool you can use to move it if you don't feel like going in and messing with the sequencer. And that is called TS1. Now I have this percussion patch that I'm gonna play and add in here. With TS1, I'm gonna turn on the metronome. I can play these samples sooner or later. This is cool for loops and such that don't necessarily allow you to go in and change the specific notes. Of course, you can move it off the grid entirely, but TS1 comes in handy for sure. Now let's hear this in context. So I'm liking that negative 4.75 milliseconds to the left, and it's got a nice swing from it. Again, this is TS1 by Robotic Bean. I'll have the link in the description if you want to check it out. Try it out for 30 days, of course, as well as any other reason rack extension. Okay, now I got some bonuses for y'all if you stuck around for the end. So I'm going to show y'all what I did to these drums to make them sound a little more gritty. I'm gonna drop open my insert effects. And here we have Dirt and Fat 50. Now, Dirt, which is DR, sorry, D1RT, is 100% free. You can go grab that now. And you don't have to have noise on your pattern. 
You can have hum. You can have hiss. So in this case, I'm going to add a little bit of hum. Nothing too crazy. Actually, I mean, it's all up to the vibe you want to go for. Maybe I do add a little bit of hiss. And then Fat 50 adds character to the drums. So we can add warmth via this module. No effect. Effect. Pretty cool, right? All right, that is all I have for y'all today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you would like to see next in the comments. It's all culture, kick back, and cook up.